offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, forth, we beseech, we beseech you, o Lord, o Lord, your, your grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his, made by his passion, passion and cross, cross be brought, brought to the glory of his resurrection, through, through the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration, streaming live from the sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. The priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul offer this Mass for all your intentions, especially for the intentions of the Pope Francis, special intentions of our Superior General, Father Jose Valdir de Castro, SSP, for all the doctors, nurses, health workers, medical practitioners, and all frontliners who are fighting the COVID-19, for the safe sailing of the officers, and crew of MV Andromeda, headed by Captain Ronald de los Reyes. Special intentions of Domingo Alarcon Jr., Donna Levardo, Alvin and Maricris Subalao, and family, Peter Edward Dizon, and Lourdes Mendez. Thanksgiving of Tony de Leon. Birthday Thanksgiving of Mark Jefferson Millet, Cheryl Canto Zantua, Alexandra de los Reyes, and Kate Margaret Sinamban. Good health of Pilar Lagman. Healing recovery of Yula May Grecia, Generosa Siliona, Jairo Villanueva, Ramon Luna, and those who are infected with COVID-19. 
for the proposals of Shane Sarte, Feliciano Marquez Sr., Belen Pulido, Nilda Lawang, Maria Mercader, Dr. Rose Pulido, Goyje Navarro, Felimon Cruz, Sister Teodora Garas, FMM, Pedro Limhoco, Nole Medalia, Ronaldo Valdueza, Erwin Bailon, Guillermo Magadia, Marshal Seblano, Badet Lavien, Felisa E. Almeron, Ambassador Benvenido Tan Jr., Conrad Benitez II, Aminonan Hipol Paul K. Madelo, Ernesto E. Pagtatanan, Eugenio Jimmy Suarez III, Elpidio Reyes, Jaime Di Maano, and all souls in purgatory, especially those who have died because of COVID-19. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert? Why there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarah serpents, which beat the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against God, the Lord, and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being beaten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent, and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been beaten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. 
O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Please stand. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to Kim himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, when you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many come to believe in him. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Patuloy po tayong nag-aalay ng panalangin para sa mga may sakit na tinamaan ng COVID virus at patuloy po natin ding ipanalangin ang mga namayapa na. Pakinggan po natin sa ating Ebanghelyo ngayon kung paano hindi nagkakaunawaan ang mga pariseyo at si Jesus sa kanyang mga pahayag, hindi siya maunawaan ng mga pariseyo. Kilala po natin yung mga pariseyo, sila yung mga spiritual watchdog ng lipuna ng mga Hudyo. Nagbabantay sila kung natutupad ng mga mamamayan ang bawat batas na ibinigay ng Diyos. Ang pahayag po ni Jesus ay ang dahilan sapagkat ang mga pariseyo ay taga rito sa ibaba samantalang pinakilala na ni Jesus ang kanyang sarili bilang nagmumula sa itaas. I am from above. Kaya hindi ho sila magtagpo. 
Dahil ang iniisip ng mga pariseyo ay ang tungkol lamang dito sa lupa. Patunayan, ang inaasahan nila, Mesiyas ay isang magpapalaya sa mga Hudyo para sila naman ang mag-take over sa pamahalaan. Hindi sa guni-guni, hindi nila naisip na ang darating na tagapagligtas ay ang anak ng Diyos. At ito ho'y napakalinaw para kay Jesus. Anumang ginagawa ko, anumang sinasabi ko, ay galing sa aking ama. Hindi ako nag-iisa. Ito po'y napakalinaw sa kanya. At tinukoy po niya yung pagkakataon kung kailan siya ay itataas ng ama. When I am lifted up, I shall draw everyone to myself. Ginugunita po niya yung uh, sinabi sa uh, ating unang pagbasa. Napansin ninyo dito sa Book of Numbers, yung napaka um, memorable na karanasan ng mga chosen people kung kailan sila ay nakaranas ng isang malupit na sakuna so pagkat habang sila ay naglalakbay sa wilderness sa ilang pinagkakagat sila ng mga ahas they suffered from snake bites at uh, sila ho ay humingi ng tulong kay Moses. Habang sila ay naglalakbay, palagi silang nagre-reklamo kay Moses. Dumating sila sa punto na sinisisi nila si Moses, bakit inalis mo pa kami sa Egypt? And Egypt is the place of their slavery. Sabi nila, nung nandoon kami, at least meron kaming pagkain at meron kaming inumin. Alam nyo, ang tao kapag nagagalit, nag exaggerate Dahil ang katotohanan nito, habang sila ay nasa wilderness, meron din naman silang pagkain, meron din naman silang inumin. If you remember, at one point, sinabi ng Panginoon kay Moses, humihingi sila ng tubig, sige, ipukul mo yung iyong tungkod dyan sa bato at lumigwak yung masaganang tubig. Sila'y nakainom. Humihingi sila ng pagkain, sige, magpapadala ako ng pugo. At ito yung kinakain nila araw-araw. Kaya lang, imbis na sila'y magpasalamat sa Diyos, sila ay nasuklam. Ang sabi nila doon sa pagkain, this wretched food, hindi nila matanggap na yun at yun lang ang kanilang kinakain araw-araw. Hindi nila na unawaan na habang sila'y nasa ilang for 40 years, yun ang panahon na sila ay hinuhulman ng Diyos. They were being formed by God. Katulad din po ng karanasan natin ngayon, hindi natin alam kung hanggang kailan tatagal ang lockdown, ang community quarantine. Pero ito rin yung panahon kung kailan tayo patuloy na hinuhulman ng Diyos. Alam ko may mga kababayan tayo na hirap na hirap sa kanilang kakainin. Nagtitiis sa kaunting ibinibigay ng pamahalaan. Sasabihin ay noodles na naman, sardinas na naman, this wretched food. Pero ang paalala po sa atin at ang paaniyaya sa atin ng Panginoon, habang tayo ngayon ay hinayaan ng 
Panginoon na magsama-sama sa pamilya habang hinayaan niya tayong manahimik, ito rin ang panahon ng ating pagninilay at paghihilom. We heal as one. Noong humingi po ng tulong ang chosen people kay Moses at sila ay lumapit sa kanya para ilapit sila sa Panginoon, humihingi sila ng tawad. Yun ang napakagandang pagkakataon dahil sila ay natauhan. Na unang-una, kami ay nagkasala sa Diyos. Pangalawa, hindi namin kaya to kung wala ang Diyos. Kaya humihingi sila, bigyan mo po kami ng lunas dito sa katakot-takot na ahas sa aming paligid. Ang nakakagulat pong paraan ng Panginoon ay kung ano pa yung naging sanhi ng kamatayan ng iba at ng sakit ng iba, siya pang ginamit ng Panginoon na instrumento para maging daluyan ng kanilang paghihilom. Imagine, nagpagawa ang Panginoon ng isang bronze ng serpent at inilagay doon sa pole. Pinasabit. At ang sabi po sa ating first reading, lahat ng tumingin doon ay gumaling. Siguro, iisipin natin, nako, sana meron tayong ganong uh, bronze serpent. Meron tayong uh, parang magic. Kasi kung iisipin natin, tumingin lang sila doon, gumaling sila. Meron nga bang magic na dulot yung bronze serpent na yun? Wala po. Hindi yun anting-anting. Kaya sila gumaling kasi pagkatapos ng mahabang panahon na sila ay palinga-linga, pagkatapos ng mahabang panahon na hindi sila nakinig sa Diyos, sa panahon na sila ay nagkanya-kanya, tinalikuran nila ang Panginoon at sumamba sila sa kung ano-anong mga bagay sa halip na tandaan nila yung covenant o yung tipan ng Diyos sa kanila. Sa haba ng panahon yun, hindi na sila nakikinig sa Diyos. At ngayon po, ngayong bumabalik sila, for the first time, natuto sila muling makinig sa Panginoon. At nakikinig sila ng sama-sama. Kaya ho, nagkaroon ng lunas. Tandaan natin, wala po doon sa kanilang tiningnan yung lunas. Yan, ang nangyari sa lumang tipan. Pero sa pagdating ng New Testament, sa katauhan ni Heso Kristo, siya naman yung itataas. At hindi lang temporary relief yung matatanggap ng mga tao, kung hindi life eternal. Kasi si Jesus na walang kasalanan, ay naging isang kasalanan, sabi nga ni St. Paul, for he who knew no sin was made sin for us in order to save us and to make friends again with God. Nahiwalay na ang tao sa Diyos, pero nung itinaas si Jesus, nag-reconcile ang tao sa Diyos. And Jesus on the cross gave the perfect offering. Siya lamang po sa lahat ang nagbigay sa Panginoon ng offering na 100% acceptable. Dahil tinanggap niya sa kanyang sarili ang lahat ng sakit at lahat ng, ng hirap. And God took that offering. Ang nakakagulat nito, Noong ibinigay ni Jesus ang kanyang sarili, yung kamatayan 
ay nadaig ni Jesus. Ito pong ating uh, mga sacrifices ngayong panahong ito. Hindi lamang po yung mga frontliners, kung hindi pati mga mamamayan na nagtitiis sa loob ng kanilang mga tahanan. Kahit na masisikip sa kanilang mga bahay. Ito po mga sacrifices na ito ay hindi isang rehearsal para sa kamatayan. May nakita ko sa Facebook, nakahiga, ang sabi, naghahanda na raw para sa kanyang burol. Hindi po. Itong nangyayari sa atin ngayon ay paraan ng Panginoon para mailuwal ang bagong buhay pagkatapos ng lockdown. God is making us a new people, a new family out of this experience. Kagayo po na nangyari kay Jesus sa, kal- sa krus nang siya ipatayin, it was not only dying, it was not only giving His life on the cross, but it is bringing about new life. Na kita natin for the first time, na ranasan ng tao for the first time, na kayang daigin ng tao, ng Diyos, ang kamatayan. At iyan ang ipinakita sa atin ni Yeso Kristo. Napakahalaga po yung mga salita ni Jesus sa mga pariseyo. You are from below, I am from above. Siguro naisip natin, totoo yan, mangyayari yan, pagkatapos nating mamatay. Pero hindi lang po. Ngayon pa lang, ang paanyaya ni Jesus bilang kanyang mga tagasunod, sana makita natin ang ating sarili na maaari tayong pumili. We can be a people from above. Dahil nandoon na yung ating sinusundan, nandoon na yung ating leader. We are a people from above kung ang mga tao ay kagaya ni Jesus nagbibigay ng kanilang sarili para sa kanilang kapwa na nangangailangan. At kitang-kita po natin ito ngayon sa maraming tao habang humaharap tayo sa krisis ng COVID-19. Kung paanong nagsasama-sama ang mga healthcare workers, ang pamahalaan, ang mga tao sa military, at ang mga karaniwang mamamayan na patuloy na nagtitinda sa pharmacy, sa grocery, at ang mga taga-LGUs, kung paano sila naglalaan ng sarili para sa kapakanan ng higit na nakararami. Yan po ang pagiging people from above, kahit na narito pa sa lupa. Kaya nga patuloy nating dinadasal, may your kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven. Kaya kung tayo po ay patuloy ding uh, susunod sa Panginoon, kung paano tayo patuloy na magiging isang bayang marunong maglingkod at lumimot sa sarili, tayo po ay magiging people from above. Meron naman tayong mga nakikitang people from below. People from below. Yung yakap-yakap ngayon ang napakaraming alkohol sa kanilang tahanan. Disinfectant. No? At uh, mga sanitizer. Mga taong nag tapos ay nagbebenta na ang iniisip lamang ay sarili. Kapag napako po tayo sa ganito, we are sadly people from below. Lahat ng mga taong nando doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo, sa Kalbaryo, habang nagpapakasakit si Jesus, they were all busy with their own preoccupations. Pinagsugalan pa yung kanyang damit. Iniisip kung sino ang mananalo. At sa karamihan ng mga taong nararoon, iniisip nila, 
ito ay isang karaniwang crucifixion lang kagaya ng iba pang nangyayaring crucifixion dito. Tunayan para sa mga sundalong naroon, trabaho lang 'yon. There was nothing unusual to them about that work. Kaya lang laking gulat nila because Jesus is revealed to them as somebody who comes from above. At ito po yung nabanggit ng isang uh, captain, Roman centurion na naroon. Anong sabihin niya, totoo ngang ito ay anak ng Diyos. Sa kanyang mga bibig nagmula yung pahayag na yun. Isang pagano, isang taong hindi naman aral sa salita ng Diyos, hindi dapat isang mana ng palataya pero nakita niya ang galaw ni Jesus sa krus at sinabi niya ito nga ang anak ng Diyos. Nang tingnan ng mga tao si Jesus sa krus, maaring hindi pa niya, nila nakilala si Jesus bilang anak ng Diyos. Iilan-ilan pa lamang. Pero ngayon, tayo po mga Kristiyano na humihingi ng kaligtasan sa Panginoon ang nagsasabi na sa pagtingin natin at sa pagninilay natin sa naging buhay ni Jesus, sa pagninilay natin sa pag-aalay niya sa kanyang buhay sa krus, makakamta natin ang kaligtasan sa kanya lamang. Because apart from Him, we will die to our sins. Tumayo po tayo para sa panalangin ng bayan. Our risen Lord's greatest gift to us is the peace which the world cannot give. In His name, let us ask the Father for all our needs. Lord, grant us your peace. Lord, grant us your peace. That the leaders of the church may strive to bring people everywhere in mutual understanding, cooperation, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your peace. That peoples of all nations may work for justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your peace. That those who are troubled, afraid, and anxious may find true peace and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your peace. That peace and love may reign in our homes and workplaces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your peace. That the dead may enjoy eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your peace. Lord God, grant us the peace we need. Help us to make peace with ourselves, with our neighbors, and most especially with our enemies. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of consolation, that being moved to compassion, 
you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for your by cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, he takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake in this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Prayer during Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray our Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. God, our Father, we, we come, come to you, you in our need to ask your protection, protection against, against the COVID-19 that has disturbed, disturbed and even clean lives. lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time 
to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunzon, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Please bow your head and pray for God's blessings. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you. The blessings of the Father and the Son. And may the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love, be with you all the way. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mapapanood na po ang Sambuhay TV Visita Iglesia 2020 featuring seven historical churches of Nueva Segovia, Ilocos Sur. Ganun din po ang Stations of the Cross na kinunan sa Tagudin, Ilocos Sur. Kasama po dito ang mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na magbibigay po ng mga pagninilay para sa inyo. Ang lahat po ng ito ay hatid sa inyo ng Society of St. Paul, Philippines, Macau Province, at ng St. Paul's Audiovisuals ngayong mga mahal na araw. Mapapunod po ito sa Facebook at YouTube ng Sambuhay TV Mass. Marami pong salamat. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Jesus and Mary. Thanks be to God. Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. May you have a blessed day ahead. God bless you all. We now invite you to pray with us our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus Master Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus, Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, Live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to the Souls in Purgatory Lord Jesus Christ, King of Glory, through the intercession of Mary and all the saints, free the souls of the faithful departed from the punishments of Purgatory, and through the intercession of Saint Michael, standard bearer of the heavenly army, guide them to the holy light promised to Abraham and to his descendants. I offer you, Lord, sacrifices and prayers of praise. 
accept them for these souls and admit them to eternal joy. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations, obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.